Hello friends and fellow farmers, Clemens. Good morning, Hodge. Do you have a minute? We're going to be holding the Snowshine Celebration in three days. You heard of it? We light bonfires and go around town enjoying everyone's something. The residents all make their own snow sculptures. You'll be able to see them all over town. Snow sculptures lit by giant balls of flame. Pretty dreamy, yeah? Anyways, that's in three days. Hope you're looking forward to it. All right. Three days. We got fire ice. Oh, hello, I start down here. Uh, all right, let's get out there. Hey, kitties, uh, what time are we at? 6.05, perfect. Pet treat, would you like one? There you go. Good, all right, and pet the cat. Indeed. And pet the cat. Come on, come here. <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> that would be like our cat. Give, a, give you a treat and then you run wildly off into the distance. Now, uh, wow, lots of stuff happening here. Okay, so we have some food come up, and yeah, lots of good feedback about, uh, you know, potential ways to go with this. I do think I'm going to try to start moving all of my machinery and stuff over to the animal area and start moving the animal area over more and clear this area out more for farming, because uh, uh, goodness knows I'm not going to um, look after crops if uh, I don't have uh, it right in front of my face. <laughs> now we need to go check out these shining objects too. Um, yeah, there's a few questions about, oh yeah, we can't even get out there today. Never mind it, but being early. Uh, some questions about um, whether you can go down into the uh, depleted lake area. I don't think I could. I think I looked around, but I'll go back and double check that. As well, a few people noted that if uh, after a bit the water will come back in, it will be clear, you can fish it, and then uh, it will eventually become dirty and you have to pump it out again. So that's good to know. So once you have the pumps installed, uh, you kind of have a permanent fix there, which is, uh, is a good thing, and then you just need the fuel. So ultimately, I do want to keep making those things as I can. Hello there. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right. Oh, am I petting anything? I was. <laughs> it's so hard to tell. What am I petting? Could be air. Hey, Dynamo. All right. Yeah, no, I need to move all of you guys. This is going to be uh, a thing. <laughs> I think this is going to take a bit. So I'm going to probably try and nibble at this over the next several episodes as I get my head around the best way of doing this. Um... Okay, the plant there. Let's get in here. But yeah, I definitely need to get uh, my hands on more stuff in general. Um, more space, more you know, organization with the machines. Uh, need to make some use of that upper area. And uh, there we go. How's it going? We let these gigantic eggs off the ground. All right, let's, um, again, I will leave these here for the moment, I think. Uh, actually, whoop. Oh, great, I, I've got too much stuff, is what I've got. <laughs> uh, there's stuff in all of these, isn't there? Uh, no, that's not going to help me. Well, yeah, it would. Okay, let's do that. Then I will come and dump some stuff into this one. Uh, can I put all three? No, two. Did I put three? I don't even know. Okay, and uh, did that clear out anything here? I don't even know that I did. I'm putting stuff on the ground. I'm managing that. Okay, and then... Um... This. And then, okay, now I've opened up some space for stuff. And now I can pick these up. Alright. Can I pick these up? Yep. Okay. <laughs> kind of. There we go. I don't know. I probably left some stuff on the ground. Goodness knows. Okay, and then I'll put in these eggs. Uh, and I'll take the fluff with me. Okay, that's good. So I think what I need to maybe do is build... I, I'm going to want more barns and stuff anyway, so... I probably need to maybe upgrade this barn and then shuffle animals around and then slowly move them over. 
uh, while I do all of that, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Let's go and see what we have here. Uh, so we'll sell off some of this stuff. Butter, mayo, lots of things. All right, and then let's get some of this, this yarn going here. No, I don't even have any more stuff. Okay. What can I put in? Uh, got three of these. Okay. And then let's dump all this off as much as we can. Um, okay, I put this here. Now, yeah, I mean, I could put all my tools away. <laughs> That's a thing I could do, but you know. <laughs> And then do I have, yeah, oh gosh, I've got a whole pile of more stuff here. Let's do this. Perfect. Okay, 9 a.m. Let's uh, hop on the scooter and head into town. Let's go do a, bit, a little bit of this. I'm excited because there must be some good objects for donation here. I'm assuming we've, uh, we've come up with something. Let's do this. We got 75,000 too, which puts us in a good spot to actually create more barns and all of that stuff. So I'm uh, feeling positive, like we're we're headed in the right direction, I think. Let's go say good morning first. Hey, Reina. Wow. It's getting to be Snowshine Celebration. Oh, you're excited. Hmm. I wonder what kinds of snow sculptures we'll be able to see this year. Um, they're all going to be just oh. uh, inappropriate. That's uh, uh, Yakopo is just going to be making Pokemon. And... Uh, oh. Yeah, goodness knows what we're going to get. Uh, I'm, I'm very intrigued, actually. I feel like this is going to be 100% bonkers. Okay, I don't, I'm not even really paying attention to what I'm getting here, so let's just keep... I'm going to blow through this, and then maybe when we get to the golden ones, I'll slow down. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get some farm items. Yeah, we get, yeah, we're getting silver metal. See, that's not bad. I don't mind that. Um... Oh wow, okay, now we did get a antique accessory. I have not seen that. You know what I'm going to do? Let's do these shiny ones first. Because I'm going to pay attention. Dinosaur fossil. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, that's, that's a good one. What else do we have here? Mirage cloth. Hey, that stuff's uh, worth a bit. So, you know what? We'll take it. Shiny watch, okay. I don't know if that's a uh, it's a gift. Ooh, we gotta we can give that away to somebody. Somebody who will appreciate a shiny watch. Dinosaur fossil again. Okay, so we have two of those. And now we're out of the shiny bags, so now we're just back to getting appraised on a you know, bags of rubbish or whatever. I'm just gonna blow through them and we'll see what we have at the end. How how does the uh, this place decide on what art to hang on the wall? Who's done the artwork behind them? Is that Rena? Beth is probably a phenomenal painter, and uh, they're like, yeah, sure, we'll hang your artwork up. It's some color. Not appreciating the the fine things they have. Uh, okay, more. This is uh, you, you wish that you could do like all of them at once, then it would just plonk in the items. I don't know if it's supposed to be more fun. This is more like gambling. Like it's the, uh, let's take a chance and see what we're going to get. I don't know. I just want to beat through the process. Okay, there we go. That was the last one, I think. The silver ingot. Okay, now let's see what we can donate. Uh, let's donate some treasure. Okay, we have a few. So we've got an antique monument. I can't get rid of the bracelet. I have an oakenite. I have this thing here, this, this antique accessory. Okay, um, I'm going to put this thing. It's not as dramatic. But I'm going to put it over here. Uh, all right. I feel like I'm, I'm actually making a, a dent on this treasure because uh, we have not had much in the way of treasure. 
Now I'm going to save that spot at the front there for the dinosaur button because that's all dramatic, but I'll continue putting the other cool artifacts over here. Some Stella. Okay, um, yeah, more treasure. You know what, Gloria, I, I've got all the treasure. Okay, and now I've got some rock here. I think I'm going to go put this, like, I don't know, here. I mean, it looks cool, but it also just looks like I have eaten marshmallow treat. Hello. And now, now for the big, oh, no, no, no. Uh, we don't... Oh, we can? Oh. <laughs> I did not think that was going to be a thing I was going to be able to donate. Alright. Cool. I didn't have any other ones, did I? Hello. I, did I donate the owl already? I feel like I did. No bugs or wild animals. Okay, yeah, that's cool. That's a lot of white fox photos. I gotta maybe get rid of, clear these out. Okay, donate treasure. One of these. Why would I donate two? Am I able to? I can't see that they would want more than one. I'm gonna just, out of curiosity, see if they're willing to... Yeah, that's good. Okay, so they will only take one anyway. Weird. All right, that was a busy little uh, adventuring there. Hey, I wish you could somehow help with the Snowshine celebration. You can just show up. I think it's the way everything works in this town. Now we've got a few. We got this extravagant watch. I don't know. Like, is that something anybody would want? <laughs> no idea. Uh, let's see, rock a lobster uh, for twelve hundred. Ooh, that's that's a decent amount. Do I even have one? I don't even know. No words. Hmm. Harumph. So, uh, as I was wooing Laura, would she want this extravagant gift? I have no idea if that's how this game works. And uh, once again, I'm, I've been prone in these games. <laughs> oh, I thought he had a hat on. I've been prone in this game to, to, like, not give people extravagant stuff. But this time I'm going to do it. Oh, uh... There we go. Mm -hmm. Thanks, I've always loved these ever since I was little. And then she did a little dance, so I'm assuming that's that's good. Mm -hmm. Having a snow shine celebration to look forward to makes it a little easier to put up with the cold. Okay, so let's take a look here at our... So yeah, we're at four and a half hearts. Um, no idea. <laughs> uh, seems to like snacking on... All right. And then, yeah, everyone else is just, you know, we're noodling along with. Once again, I in Stardew Valley, I felt a lot more uh, impelled to... There's so many characters. I have these characters I don't even know outside of <laughs> the events. I'm the worst neighbor. Oh, you live next door. Oh, you've been there your whole life? Oh. Lynn, I hope it, it snows on the day of the snow shant. Yeah, if I ever went in the stores. Hey, kids, you watering plants. Our family's making a snow sculptures, too. Don't miss it. Hey kiddo, I'm gonna make the most ridiculously awesome snow sculpture. I I hope it's again PG. I hope it's just family friendly. You're not creating weird stuff again. Uh, tool shop. Oh, uh, then I want to look at builder Nigel's uh, handiworks here. What do you got going on, Nigel? Are you even at work? He is. Dude, take a day off. Um, let's see here. Okay, so if I build a big coop or big barn, I should say. Um, I, I feel like I actually just want to maybe, oh, no, 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 I want to, uh, buy farm facilities. Yeah, I think I actually want to buy a barn, up to a total of 10 barns, yes. I think I'm going to buy one of those. I'm going to also buy an extra coop. And I'm going to stop at that. Oh. Once you've set it down on your preferred location, it can be built in the blank map. Up to three can be set at a time. You can have three stables? Wow. That's bananas. <laughs> All right. And, uh... 
let's go and see what we can get started with here. Now I also, I should have got prepared for, uh, oh, uh, uh, let's head over this away. So let's go and plonk down our new facilities over here. Um, and I don't know quite what the best way is going to be. I mean, it would make sense to me that putting them sort of back up here with not a lot of space behind them would be a good thought. Oh wow, okay, so yeah, now I've got to clear this out though because I've got too much junk, so I'm assuming I do at least. Okay, and right, my my mega scythe here. Oh my gosh, uh, <laughs> what's my best strategy for uh, scything down everything at once? Okay, um, yeah, okay, and then we'll come and get this lot. And then I'll take out the stone. All right, so now let's think about putting down our our buildings. Um, oh, okay, barn here now. So I could put it there, or I could put it. Uh, that's not bad. Um, let's try this. Oh, <laughs> okay, and also, I, I, again, once again, uh, I'll call it Big Moo. Um, I don't know, rethink it? I probably should, I'm sure it's a terrible name. Now, that's, that's fine, we can get through there. Now, as for my other... Yeah, the question is, is how exactly do I want all these laid out? I don't even know that I know how I want them all laid out. Um, okay. Uh, clucky. Uh, I'm just call, going to call this uh, Cluckerton. I, uh, I probably use these names five times. I don't know. I uh, the, the, Whatever it pops in my head, which is probably the worst way to do this. So now, uh, now I want to upgrade these facilities. But then when I do the upgraded facility, it doesn't it just give me a new facility? Isn't that the weird part of this? There's some. But do I like? Yeah, maybe I misunderstood. Maybe I don't actually. I just. Yeah, I'm probably doing this all wrong. <laughs> That's the thought I'm just having right now. I'm doing this all wrong. I, uh, you know, I yeah, I forgot about this. This weird thing in this game where if you do the basic facility, uh, let's see here. So if I were to choose you, and I were to go, uh, which okay, this is Big Moo. This is Moo Town. Okay, so you can be in. Right, so you can be in any of those. And so it is going to be rather easy to transfer them in between. But when I upgrade, it's not that I'm actually upgrading the specific facility like in Sturdy Valley. It's that I actually just get a bigger thing. And then I've got this thing, which, I mean, what do I do? Sell it? Ah, I forgot about that. Silly me. Um, let's go and deal with the garden because that does need doing today. I do have more seeds here. You always forget uh, cabbage seeds, yes. That every game does things its own unique way. <laughs> oh, sometimes you're like, I think I've got this figured out. And then, right, you're like, oh, right, no, that's not at all how we do things here. That's fine. Okay, we got 25 little helper friends. So yeah, if I get, I gotta remember what Nigel wants, and then, because I always see the word develop farm facilities, but maybe it is that you have to have one, and then you get the other one to deal. I don't, like, it's weird. I don't, I don't understand the logic of it. 
and it's probably super obvious I'm overthinking it, but it's funny because every game does things slightly differently. Uh, you know, you think of the old one where you would do it and the facility that you currently have would just upgrade. Okay, and then... Throw these down. Uh, come on. There we are. And then over here. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, let's go and get... Uh, go grab some more there. There was that nice contract on Rock Lobster, but I don't know if I, I care enough to do anything about it. And then also... It is the 22nd. I should still have time for this. Wasn't even paying attention to my grow times. Uh, buy materials. No. Uh, buy goods. Okay. Cabbage seeds, seven days. Uh, let's take a look here. Wasn't even thinking about this. What do we have? Uh, two, four, six. If I plant them today, two, four, six, seven, they should be good for the 28th. Seven days after planting. Uh, so it's a question of will these even produce? <laughs> six days after planting, but then they regrow. Burdock is seven days. Okay, you know what? I'll just take a bunch of this. Uh, Plant some radish. That way I can be a little bit more confident that I will be able to, in fact, um, get those in the ground. Let's see, can I go in here? Oh, oops, wrong. Oh yeah, no, for Pete's sakes. <laughs> I was thinking I entered the wrong one. All right, so. Right, <clears throat> yeah. So you don't actually have to have a barn in place before you do this. And that's what, yeah, I, silly me. Um, all right, well, we have enough to do this anyway. Larger than your average barn, it can house up to 10 animals. Animals can also give birth here. Uh, you know what I can do is I can... Um, this can, up to 10 barns, uh, used for building a barn. Once you set it up, it can be built in the blink of an eye, up to 10 barns. Doesn't say how much it holds, does it? But we can have a lot, so it doesn't really matter. But if I can do these, uh, so I need. Wow, you need quite a lot. Gold, the good wood, and like 50 um, of the uh, plant. So I actually don't. I'm not going to even have enough stuff uh, to deal with that at the moment, anyway. I think I'm poor on gold, if I remember it. No, no. Okay, so, and then the last thing I wanted to do was get out and check on the... We've got our seasonal site that we've built. <laughs> oh, there's too many things going on. Okay, well, let's put these seeds in the ground before we uh, forget to do that. We just do this in the most haphazard fashion possible. Radish seeds everywhere. That's how I plant. All right, let's put these away and... Yeah, I wasn't even really thinking about that one properly. Let's do, uh, go. Let's travel to the uh, ancient lake. Let's go confirm that that it's probably half filled in already. Okay. So, uh, no, it does not seem like I can... That there is a staircase or anything. It lets me run sort of against it. Uh, yeah, I felt like it was probably more symbolic than anything. Um, it would be cool if we could go down there. And it's funny that you can't, because you would think that you would definitely try to. No. But that seems classic for this kind of thing. Can I go? No. Um, oh yeah, but I want to. So at some point that'll fill in. All right, well, that makes sense that I was able to get uh, 
the um, the stuff from the edge anyway. I didn't have to go in to open the chest. Oh right, I should. No, I put a sprinkler. Oh, let's let's check on Petalwind Gardens. Okay, so everything's good. Yep, yeah, my little <laughs> my little crop here is doing just fine. I need to get developing this as well. And we do have our, I think someone had noted I have the seed maker as well now, so we can start working with that. Okay, so let's sell this cabbage and uh, my town metals. We have those. Now this thing here, the dinosaur fossil, it sells for 3,800. Uh, I'm assuming I just sell it because I don't really, I mean, I could put it in the house, but we we do have a museum spot for it. Um, and it, so it seems like at 3,800, we'd want to sell that once we have it. All right, put this stuff here. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Um, right now, I guess we give her the fashionable bracelet as well. We're, we're all in. We're going, we're going all in. Let's harvest our gems here. Keep that moving along. Okay, so we have some bricks. Uh, do I have more mud? Oh, uh, you. Do you have more mud? A little bit, not much. Okay, uh, and as for we, the lumber, I think we're okay on for upgrading farm facilities. Okay, and then I'll need to go collect more mud. We got 24 bricks, which is going to serve me for a little bit. Let's put our cloth away. And we do have a variety. We're good on all the different fiber types. I can see that we have a variety of those, so... That's not an issue. We're getting a nice quantity of different cloths. For any, cl I've got to figure out if I can craft stuff with those or if I'm just going to be selling those at the end of the day. And as for gold, I have one bar. So we're going to be waiting a little bit to do any development of things, I think. Now let's go and uh, we can get some of this uh, silver ore going here. Okay, so we got five bars of silver. Nothing else happening there. That's fine. So yeah, I think we'll start transporting uh, critters over. So let's do, uh, I guess we'll move this. How many do these? Is it five? Okay. So if we move, I'm not even sure what the best strategy is going to be. Put this in big moo. And then Moo Town over to Big Moo. And then this one's loaded. So I got two, four, six, eight, nine. I've got five here. And I'll have eight. And then I guess I can take one of them and put them in my back pocket. Uh, I'm assuming Big. Oh, uh, no. Uh, okay. Hold up. <laughs> So this facility here, uh, clear away. Okay, yep, all animals will, in there will be ungrouped. I like that you end up with all the fodder and stuff, that's nice. Let's go and put this thing over here. Um, I guess I'll just put it like... Oh, and then I need to clear this. It's funny that you need to clear this stuff out like you wouldn't just... Um, make it work. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, and then we got our. Oh, come on. Okay, is that? I can't go any closer. Oh, there we go. Yep. Uh. Yeah. There we are. Uh, I don't know. Um. Moo. Mutonian. Mutonian.
Yeah, sure. Confirm name, rethink name. Are you sure you want to do this? Uh, let's go check now. Did I actually put critters in here? Okay, I did. So this is big move. Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's... Oh, no, no, no. I want to go into here now. Okay, and then here. I feel like this is going to be easier when to move Biggie once I've moved uh, the critters like this instead of having to deal with them by spilling them all out onto the ground. <laughs> oh, uh, Biggie. There we go. And you. So this is an, a, a nice learning curve. I, cause I have not uh, ever dealt with this. Now with this, um, you can't put them anywhere. I see. Oh, that's all they can do is they can be in Biggie. Okay, the animals will be moved. Perfect. Let's go back and because there's definitely going to be a feeding issue I'm going to have, so I've got to figure out how I'm going to get this thing moved over. Uh, oh, right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, clear away. Uh, all animals in this was items and animals. Okay. All right, so that's good. Okay, and then this animal's looking for a place to live. So perfect. Let's go put our big barn right here. This is a good learning experience. Slowly getting a handle on how this game works. Um, now, in terms of like, what's the best place to put this giganto barn? Uh, this would be a nice spot if I could, though I don't think I can. I think we've got, uh, we're committed. Now, I would prefer to put this thing like maybe here? That wouldn't be too bad, would it? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, I feel like there's like, until you really mess around with this a bit, you have a lot of regret about where you put things. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. That's me going to have a lot of regret. Well, let's clear the space out so we can try out some things. And then uh, get rid of this. I don't think this will be in our way anyway. Okay. Maybe this isn't going to be the worst place to put it. Let's see. Um, uh, let's be uh, optimistic. This is Mutopia. Yep, I don't. I don't need to rethink these things. Um, okay, and then I could theoretically, I think, put a large facility there. All right. Yeah, good enough. I think that's something. Let's get uh, our big friend here. Okay, uh, let's put you in Utopia. There we are. So everybody's now um, tucked away in there. However, um, let's go and see. So I can have, oh, uh, right, what? Right, this one, does this one support an auto feeder? Okay, it does. Insert fodder from uh, silo or silage. Silage. Uh, oh, and you have to choose if it's deluxe or. Oh, oops! No, no, no! Oh, my gosh! Okay, so let's get that going. Then this one here should just automatically go, right? Does it come with? Oh no, I got to put an auto feeder down here as well. Okay, and then we'll set the, that deluxe. Okay, so then what I need to do is get uh, some Mutonian and Big Moo. Mutonian is the second one I moved, right? Okay, Mutonian. Utopia, Mutonian, Utopia, Mutonian, Mutopia, Mutonian, Utopia, Big Moo, 
And actually, I should do this. Cows. Uh, oop. Sheep. Right, because I was keeping the big critters, and I was going to do one pen that was kind of just uh, these bunnies, wasn't I? Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot of doing. Now let's go confirm that this one here, I think it should be empty then. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, and then this one here. Um, Featherton. Okay. So yeah, Featherton will accommodate uh, 10. So I think what I should maybe think about doing is actually um, clearing out Featherton next time and moving the whole kit and caboodle at once. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we're going to go to bed. We got a good start here. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's clear out some stuff here. May as well. Uh, all right. Boop, boop. I'm not going to bother reloading things. And then we can start the next phase of our plan here. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. It's coming together, I think. Um, slowly, slowly it will come together. I did have some wood. Let's put that away. Let's go sell some stuff. And I probably have lots of sugar. All right, let's do that. Good. I think we did all of the things I was trying to get at, which is, uh, that's a decent enough day. And the move shall continue. All right. We will see you all next time. Till then. Bye-bye.